five reasons why you shouldn't upgrade to Windows 10. Stay tuned. Learn more about my favorite 3D printer and the winner of Make's 2015 Thin Wallet Award by visiting printerbot.com. Okay, guys, I did my five reasons why you should, which was a couple weeks ago. Now I feel like I can do my five reasons why you shouldn't. Obviously, you need to make up your own mind about if Windows 10 is right for you. These are just my five top reasons why I probably won't upgrade to Windows 10. As you can see, I still have a Windows 8 splash screen on my PC over there. Number five, drivers. What the hell? They've been flaky. I've had my USB drivers break. I've had uh, NVIDIA driver problems. I've even had like twitchy AMD driver problems. I, you know, there's, there's even more than that. I don't know about you guys, but it sure makes me feel like Windows 10 is more like Windows Vista, especially on clean installs. If you do an upgrade, it seems to not be as bad. But clean installs, I've had all sorts of problems, and I've heard a lot of reports of other people that have as well. Number four, it's intrusive. Uh, more than any Microsoft product I think I've ever used, I really feel like, you know, they force you into having or, you know, needing to use, uh, you know, SkyDrive. They force you into, you know, wanting to use Cortana. They make it extremely hard to change your browser, like even I think maybe worse than it used to be. Um, some of that's been remedied. Like I saw Firefox finally figured out how to make Cortana give you back Firefox search results and take you to Firefox. But it just seems very intrusive to me. Also, uh, this is on a Saturday. So yesterday, the, some leaks came out that they have the ability to actually remove pirated games from your PC. Now, that may be unsubstantiated, but I saw it from Tech Report. So, you know, guys, I just feel like it's very intrusive. It seems like they're all up in your business all the time. And frankly, that's not what I want for my OS. I want my OS to just be the thing that all my programs run on. Number three, data mining. So this is a privacy thing, right? Like you've heard lots of people talk about Cortana and you know their data mining you can turn off a lot of it but there is still rumors maybe unsubstantiated maybe not that you can't turn it all off so there's still tracking frankly you know this is the going to be number two is it free you're paying for quote unquote free software somehow so to me privacy issues I really feel like it's not there Number two, free. And I said this actually in my reasons to upgrade. It also makes it into my reasons to not go to Windows 10. And this goes along with like the privacy and the intrusive. It's free. Listen, you're paying for it somehow. You're not just going to get something for free. So you're either going to, you know, they want you to use uh, OneDrive or SkyDrive or, you know, whatever it's named this week. They're going to preload you with like Skype and you know, Microsoft products, they're going to want you to use Microsoft services. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I prefer a lot of Microsoft services. At the same time, like OneDrive drives me insane because I prefer Dropbox in that one scenario. Most things I actually do prefer Microsoft products. And, you know, disclaimer, guys, I work for Microsoft, but I really do like Microsoft products. And I, you know, holistically like Windows 10 other than, you know, these few things I'm talking about. Not being able to fully disable OneDrive drives me absolutely insane. Like, I just want it gone. I want it off of my system. Same thing with Edge and Cortana. I want that stuff off of my system. Give me the ability to completely remove it and not have to be like some ninja master to get stuff working again. It's completely infuriating, but at the same time, that's what the free is getting you. You're, you know, they have to make money somehow. So, you know, what ads are you watching? How can we better serve ads? How can we get you to use things to maybe where, like Skype, we can upgrade you from a free membership to premium. Same thing with OneDrive. You know, can we get you hooked and get you to upgrade? It's a corporation. They have to make money. They have to pay the developers so we can all keep working there, frankly. And that's what you get for free. So it's not really free. But unfortunately, 
there's also not a, you know, go buy it and not get all of that other crap. And that's why free is my number two reason why I'm not upgrading. Number one. Who needs testers anyways? That's what you suckers are for, right? Well, unfortunately, Microsoft is moving to more of a Scrum Agile model of development. And unfortunately, Google and Apple have been kicking their ass for a long time on this area. And unfortunately, you're now seeing Microsoft head more toward, you know, things in beta. Or, you know, you bought that free upgrade. And so now you're going to get updates pushed to your machine before other people so that they can see if you complain or not. Or a million things like that. That's just, you know, like straight out there. You are now the testers for Microsoft. So those are my five reasons why I won't be upgrading to Windows 10. Agree, disagree, you know, put it down in the comments what you think. What are you concerned about? What are the things you like? Like I said, my problem with Windows 10 right now is I'm very like, oh my God, it's awesome. And oh my God, I hate it more than anything ever. It's very like bipolar for me in it. It's a great OS. The perf improvements are awesome. The, you know, the, the start menu is back in its strange form. Metro's mostly gone. Like it's, it's pretty damn good. But these five things, honestly, are the things that are going to keep me from upgrading at least, you know, in the next six months on my main PC. Like I have, you know, laptops at work and laptops at home that are running Windows 10. But, you know, those are all Microsoft machines. So they're just data mining me doing work for them. I don't mind that. Frankly, you know, Google is so intrusive anyways, like my YouTube stuff on my main PC, even that freaks me out. And I'm not doing anything wrong. I, you know, I don't pirate, I don't torrent, I don't do any of that stuff. So it just bugs me that, you know, stuff is so intrusive these days and really the companies try to hide it and be sneaky about it. So it's not just Microsoft, it's Apple, it's Google, it's all of them. This is how they're making money now in the new inter you know, internet. The new economy is your data. That's what's valuable. So it is what it is. And, you know, I probably will put my main machine up to Windows 10 at some point, but I really want to see how the privacy stuff gets handled. I really want to see the drivers. The driver thing is, even though it's number five on my list, it's the number one thing for me not upgrading. Uh, until driver stability comes in and, like, I get blue screens all the time. I know a lot of people that get blue screens all the time. Um, you know, I'm not willing to spend an hour editing something on Adobe and blue screen it three times. It's, you know, it's just not worth it to me to upgrade at that point. So let me know what you think. Of course, you can visit us, TimmyTechTV.com, at TimmyTechTV on Twitter, on Instagram. That's the two places I'm the most active. You can check out the store, thehotin.net. T-shirts, mugs, glasses, all sorts of cool stuff. And until next time, this is Tim for TimmyTechTV. See ya.